Hello, welcome, welcome. I just heard like I'm wor I'm working so hard. I am. So <laughs> welcome to Santa sensitive sessions with tarot and oracle messages and channel messages. So just to recap, your quote is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I think the idea of me is better than the reality of me. When I read this, I feel this kind of upchuck of pain. Um, I'm picking up Megan Thee Stallion. She always comes across, at least for me, as very, very comfortable and confident and just easygoing and energetic. But she actually carries a lot of sadness because a lot of the people that she loved the most in her life died. And if I'm not mistaken, they never got to see her reach the pinnacle of success that she has. And so I feel like there is this grief within you that is just below the surface. It, it almost feels like I'm not supposed to be this happy. I'm not supposed to be this okay when other people aren't okay, when other people never got into this space that I'm in. I remember I was, re I was watching one of Nicholas Sparks uh, movies and it was about like, you know, the past and present. He loves to do that, that thing. And the couple in the past was like during this like war time and the woman, she'd come from a different country. So she was an immigrant and she was talking to, you know, the male romantic interest. And she was saying like the people where I left from my country, they're suffering, you know, when I think about it like that, I don't have a right to be happy. And the guy responded, he was like, when you look at it like that, you have no right to be sad. Because you have, you know, everything, you have so much better than them. But that's the energy I'm picking up. I know there's a lot going on in the world right now, but I feel like there's always a lot going on in the world right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to like say this without being offensive. So I'll just leave it at that to like, for different populations, there's always so much struggle, especially within quote unquote minority populations or populations of with of people of color. It's always this struggle. It's never this like super duper feeling of freedom, freedom. And it's like, if you look at the news, it's like now this thing, now there's a lot going on in the world, but when you're you know coming from a perspective of hell <laughs> in struggle it's like that's always my reality and i feel like i also want to mention the reason that i'm even doing these uh i ask spirit to really bless me with messages of like deep conversations and invoking active activating uh messages because the whole reason I'm doing this is it's for ascension. I get frustrated sometimes with myself and with other people because I want my life to change, right? I want my biggest dreams to come true. But then I have to check myself because even my biggest dreams are usually still very 3D, which are still within this matrix, which is not actually real. What I really want is to go beyond any of this into absolute, total freedom, total freedom. And I feel like we've all been taught this. So it's, you know, no, no judgment to anybody, especially myself, but it's like to want this sort of dream of like, I get this dream house and I, I don't have to worry about money anymore. I don't have to worry about food anymore. And I have access to great health insurance and I also get angry because I'm like that's not enough because even in that space like you don't have full access to your true self which is eternal which is ancient which is forever where you can heal yourself where you can manifest anything that is the truth of you where you feel con 
connected and in contact with every single living creature on the planet, with Earth herself. That should be the goal. And one of the reasons why I kind of like make sure to check myself when I have these very limited, although well-intentioned 3D goals is because even if I'm in this nice big house somewhere in a forest, somewhere on earth is going to be somebody else who is suffering, who does not have these privileges, which should not be privileges because they are birthrights. And if one of us is suffering, in my opinion, all of us are suffering. Be also because I'm a super duper empath and I can feel everybody when I really tap into it. And often when I tap into it, voluntarily or involuntarily, it feels like pain. The collective of earth feels very painful. And so I feel like because I'm bringing all of these deep concepts up for you, you are a earth angel, you're a light worker, you're a star seed. You came here to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cuss, so get ready, <laughs> blow this motherfucker up. You came here to shut this shit down because like I said, even people's like wildest or best dreams still are inclusive of a hell of a lot of suffering. Like let's say for example, you become a billionaire the more billionaires there are, the more people who are getting paid nothing, who can't afford to eat, who can't afford to live and be alive. And so it's like, is that really a win-win? And especially for, I don't know, any super rich person, there's a lot of suffering either done by them or done by somebody else. Like you don't get to that spot as in this like level of consciousness you don't get to extreme privilege without somebody else being pushed into the dirt and that's not right that's not organic that's not representative of love of the love that source has for all um and you my sweet are a part of igniting that truth that organic nature again. Just gonna sit your angel numbers here. I'm being called to flip. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me, somebody's phone number might be here. This, this is what I got. So your oracle card again is season Mintaka. And now it makes sense, I'm not surprised because Mintaka is a star seed planet so you might be from there if i'm not mistaken it was in or is in the uh orion's belt uh or no orion's star system yeah, i don't know whatever those words mintaka these very like uh mermaidy fish people is where you're from and so i feel like some of your gifts is to is clair clairvoyance um, maybe be able to like see people's auras, read people really easily, tap into people's emotions really easily. So clairsentience uh, and claircognizance, probably just all the clairs. Because I feel like just to go based off of this water, if you're a creature that lives in water, water is very collective. It's very united. And so like when one splash happens a hundred miles away, like that, it ripples out, has a ripple effect. So everybody can feel everybody else. Everybody is connected to everybody else. So, and you can feel things really easily. And so I feel like that's, um, those are some gifts that you've brought here to earth with you. This is a Starseed Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. I don't know if I already said that. This is a uh, Legendary Ladies deck by uh, Ann Shen, S-H-E-N. I feel like this one. Or we'll take two or three. You have balance. 
So just continue to have like a work-life balance. It's very important for you. And what do you know? I just noticed this. This is a fish person. So you're definitely some sort of mermaid, mer, mer person. Oh, look at that, a boat, water, <laughs> enlightenment. So I feel like I'm hearing like go to water or seek water out to have enlightenment. Like if you get stressed really easily or you've been very tense recently, try to find some sort of body of water, even if it's a small puddle on the road, I don't know. <laughs> Like any body of water, if you have some sort of man-made lake or pond near you, the ocean, and if you don't have any of those things, you can just do run a bath in a bathtub if you have one of those. Uh, seek out water. They even have like pools and jacuzzis at gyms if you have some sort of gym membership, and it'll help you to connect to your higher self, your inner self. Ah, inner self, inner beauty. Wow. Yeah, you have a lot of peace just within you like you don't really need um a lot of outside things to know 11 11 on the time to know the truth and so for you it's just about like eliminating distractions in order to tap into that truth so this has been your reading you're not an imposter you're very strong you're very beautiful um please leave a comment if this resonated and if you would like to support me, you can um, check out the description for different ways to do that. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much.